Welcome to Trends Compilation. The coronavirus has infected hundreds and thousands of people across the world, in turn locking down cities, closing schools, and causing families to self-isolate in their homes. Thousands of people have died after testing positive for COVID-19. The disease caused by coronavirus, which has been found in every continent except Antarctica. The virus has also made its way into the world of sports, film, politics, and royalty. Here we take a look at some of the noteworthy figures to have contracted the illness. Placido Domingo is a Spanish opera singer, conductor, and arts administrator. He has recorded over a hundred complete operas and is well known for his versatility, regularly performing in Italian, French, German, Spanish, English, and Russian in the most prestigious opera houses in the world. On March 22, the Spanish opera singer said he has tested positive for coronavirus and has gone into self-isolation with his family. Daniel Day Kim, South Korean American actor best known for the television series Hawaii 5 0. He said on Thursday he had tested positive for the coronavirus. Kim, speaking from his home in Hawaii, announced the news in the Instagram posting and video. Manu Dibano. On Wednesday, 86 years old Afro jazz star was admitted to French hospital suffering from coronavirus. His official Facebook page said, adding he was resting well and calmly recovering. Christopher De Leon. A Filipino artist, Christopher De Leon, says his doctor confirmed on Tuesday that he has positive for COVID-19. Today, our doctor confirmed that I have COVID-19, De Leon said. The actor posted on social media that he has no recent travel history outside the Philippines and no known contact with anyone who is positive to have the virus. De Leon asked those who came in contact with the past two weeks to self-quarantine. I therefore ask anyone who has come in contact with me within the last week or two to observe the stringent self quarantine. Observe for symptoms and follow the triage procedures published by the DOH, whether asymptomatic or not, the actor said. De Leon added his wife, daughter, and helper are now under home quarantine. My wife Sandy, daughter Mika, and Arka Sambahai are in self-quarantine at home, the actor said. Fiona Phillips Former GMTV host, Fiona Phillips said he had symptoms including a sore throat and dry cough but was fine and not suffering. Phillips tweeted, I'm in bed with coronavirus. It's not a very very pleasant bedfellow but nothing more than sore throat, dry cough, headache, and tiredness. As long as it stays that way, don't panic. Andy Cohen, the 51-year-old Watch What Happens Live presenter wrote on Instagram he had been in a quarantine after feeling ill for a few days and has now been diagnosed with the virus. He added, I want to thank all the medical professionals who are working tirelessly for all of us and urge everyone to stay home and take care of themselves. Linda Rosalde, the actress and former model, said she had never felt this ill. After constructing the virus, she posted on Twitter, I want to thank you all for your good wishes. Some and I had COVID-19 symptoms and are in isolation so we do not spread it to anyone else. We are taking it one day at a time. That's all we can do. But let me tell you, we've never felt this ill ever. Mikel Arteta Arsenal's head coach, Michael Arteta, tested positive for coronavirus and self-isolated in a line with government guidelines. He wrote on Twitter, Twitter. Thanks for your words and support. Feeling better already. We're all facing a huge and unprecedented challenge. Everyone's health is all that matters right now. Chelsea's entire men's squad self-isolated after winger column Hudson Adoy also constructed COVID-19. Michael Barnier, the European Union chief negotiator for its future relationship with Britain after Britix has confirmed he has coronavirus. Mr. Barnier tweeted that he is doing well and is in good spirits. I would like to inform you that I have tested positive for COVID-19. I am doing well and in good spirits. I am following all the necessary instructions as in my team. For all those affected already and for all those currently in isolation, we will get through this together. Prince Albert II of Monaco. The 32 years old reigning monarch confirmed he had tested positive for COVID-19 on Thursday. However, a palace statement said his health is not worrying. He is the first head of state who has publicly said he has contracted the virus. The palace said he is being treated by doctors from the Princess Grace Hospital, named after his U.S. actress mother. It says Albert is continuing to work from his home office in the palace and it is constant contact with members of his government. For more videos, please like and subscribe and don't forget to ring the bell. Thank you!